Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm still awake. <laughs> this is helping. I'm fully sweated through the shirt yet. <laughs> <laughs> so what can you tell us uh, about season two and what's going on with your characters? Well, uh, I do know it's a little easier to talk about it this year than it was season one. Um, John was much more conflicted and confused and and more reactive in season one to the situations around him. Uh, this year, he's got he's very focused, <laughs> and it's all about revenge. Um, at least the beginning of the year, and at least the point of where John is coming from. Um, I'm sure things will change as the season goes on. But, you know, his whole his whole focus is to save his town again. But in this case, now that he has seen witches and believes in them, is to eradicate every one of them, including the love of his life, Mary Sibley, if, if need be. How do you handle, um, given the historical weight of and, and not just what has happened, but what continues to happen with Native Americans. How, is, how, how does that influence your approach as an actor to playing you know, this character that's very much interwoven with Native Americans? I mean, I think that that's, from an acting perspective, it's exciting uh, to do to be involved in anything that might be different or or that you're not used to or something that's a little uncomfortable. Uh, I know on Nikita, it's not Native American, uh, uh, but on Nikita, being able to speak many different languages, clearly learned the day before and forgotten <laughs> afterwards. Um, I wish I could have remembered it all, but uh, you know, it, it's fun to explore explore that. And then hopefully be as accurate as possible. Um, and with, I never saw this with with John Alden and that and that tribe connection. I never saw that in my head when we started this with the series. But the way that it went, I was very much excited about. And I, the first episode of, of this season, do I, I might speak English for a second, and it's it's all subtitled. It's great. It's like like and we we went through a lot of different discussions with that. Do you because there's so many movies and television series over the years that have done that, legit or not, where I would be speaking English and he wasn't, uh, uh, or or we both were suddenly speaking English. But why the hell would he be like and that kind of stuff? But there's legit movies that have done that. So uh, we decided um, at the last second to to keeping it as real as possible, and then I told them to have me speak less <laughs> so that I didn't butcher butcher anything and um, they, they really really like how it came out so there, there's another one that's going to happen in the middle of the season where I'm having another season speaking in that tongue and, and uh, it's, it's fun it makes it more intriguing What can you tell us about the supernatural powers uh, that the Native Americans view upon you to help you with this? Uh, <clears throat> I, there might be a lot of spoilers but uh <laughs> He, he's warned, John Alden's warned by the shaman that this is not the path that he wants to go down. Uh, obviously, John doesn't listen to him. And what, what I think is very interesting is you, you see, as the season progresses, the powers that he's given, um, the advantages that John's given in the, in the hunting techniques and, and, and things like that are really s sapping his soul and sapping his energy and turning him into something a little more inhuman, which he was the most probably human person in season one. Uh, so it's kind of an interesting flip-flop where these gifts that he's been given um, and the spiritual, mental, physical transformation he's gone through is not exactly a positive thing. But I've had a blast so far this season met exploring that and, and messing with those, those things. I think that's m about as much as I could say without literally giving away some of the stuff, but you know, you'll see almost immediately. So we heard the season. Oh, okay. Did you have to? Did oh, you have to sorry. Do further, like physical training, you know, because there was a bit of obviously you have experience with Nikita, but then mm -hmm. there was you know some action with like fighting in wars and whatnot. Did you get to see a further continuation of that? With this Oh, um, yeah, for sure. But but as in as in training, no. That's one of the advantages about doing a, a period piece during this period of time. Like I, I remember, I, I'm gonna th just 
rear back and throw a haymaker. It's just like a, a, maybe an uppercut. Like there's no MMA style fighting that like in choke holds that I was learning on, you know, Nikita. In this case, it's, you know, someone gets tackled and someone gets punched. It's pretty, thank, thanks, thankfully I had the four years of training on Nikita to be easily be able to handle this. Yeah. As long as I don't pull a, pull a hammy or something, I'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thanks, guys.